Hey guys, today on JD Cars, we'll be installing a super easy plug and play wireless charging kit on my 2012 BMW 3 Series. So I'm sure many of you have seen my previous wireless charging video showing you the installation process of this custom wireless charging tray here in my BMW F30. This wireless charging tray I built has been holding up really well. It works great. The only problem is obviously I had to give up my cup holders and it is slightly raised up from the center console here so the look could be improved. So a really cool company, Carqui Wireless Charging, reached out to me and they actually have a kit that installs right here in the center console which leaves the cup holders free to be used. So let's jump into the box here to see what we receive. Nice. All right. Well packaged here, we have some instructions. We also have a little rubber mat here, which will go over the wireless charging unit and provide our phone with traction so it doesn't slide off. Here's the wireless charging unit itself. As you can see, it's very sleek and clean. No unsightly buttons or anything, just an LED indicator light over on the right side here and a neatly packaged cable with a pre-wired connector. So let's get the car in here and we'll get started on installing this wireless charger. We'll begin by removing the center console iDrive trim. To remove the iDrive trim, open up the armrest here, and then use a plastic pry tool and pry up the back of the trim. From there, you can use your hands to remove it. And to get this trim out of the way, we'll disconnect a blue connector right underneath the iDrive controller. Now we can set this out of the way. Next, again using a plastic pry tool, we'll pry up the gear shift trim here. Now using a plastic pry tool or a small screwdriver, we'll need to pry up this control panel here. First pry up this plastic piece on the back here and carefully use a small screwdriver to come in here and release a clip on the back and then one in the front here. We can then pull the unit out and disconnect the blue wire underneath. We'll now need to use a T20 Torx bit to remove one screw located here and another one located up front. We can now pry up on the center assembly here, starting in the back corner. Pop it up and out of place. Disconnect your electrical connections underneath and remove the assembly. Now this kit was designed for LCI BMWs it appears because on their website it shows a storage tray here and a cigarette lighter located right here. Now I obviously do not have a storage tray here. I have an ashtray and a cigarette lighter located right here, but this does have the same basic shape. So it appears it should work. We're gonna find out right now. I'll be removing the storage door by pulling out this long metal rod located right here. Here's I'll first need to release this spring right here and one on the other side, as well as these two gears on either side. And this door should now come out of place like so. And I'll be using a strip of 3M Extreme mounting tape here to secure the unit. And there it is, installed in the center console here. Actually, it looks pretty good. Now we'll flip it over and take care of the wiring before we pop this back in the car. So the beauty of this setup is that it's completely plug and play. There's no cutting, crimping, or soldering of wires thanks to this cleverly designed piggyback setup. As you can see, this harness has the same exact connector as our cigarette lighter here. So we'll plug the male section of the connector into the cigarette lighter here, and this connector will plug directly into the car's factory connector. And then the black connector from our wireless charging pad plugs into the black connector of the harness, like so. Now I'll neaten up these wires with a couple zip ties. And now with all of our wires tucked in and neatened up here, we can reinstall the unit in the car. So we'll hop back in the car here and we'll take the one remaining connector of our harness and plug it into the factory cigarette lighter here. And we can now reinstall the unit just as we removed it. We'll reinstall our two T20 Torx screws, one located here and one located here. Next, we'll plug this blue connector back into this control panel here and we'll pop this control panel back into place. Now we just need to reinstall our gear selector trim and our iDrive trim. Now all that's left to do is to install this rubber traction pad for our phone on top of the charger here. And now I'll show you the wireless charger live in action using my iPhone X here. Just drop it into place and it starts charging immediately. And I'll show you here, the phone can be positioned almost anywhere on the mat 
and it will continue to charge. So that's pretty awesome. If it does happen to shift while you're driving, it's not gonna stop charging. That being said, I just did a ton of driving around in the car here with my phone charging on the mat and I did drive pretty aggressively and I took some turns quite hard and my phone did not fall off once. This little traction mat does a really good job of gripping your phone and keeping it in place here, so you really don't have to worry about your phone falling off the wireless charger. I really like how easily you can access your phone here and just grab it whenever you need it, and when you wanna charge it, just toss it in here and it starts charging right away. I have driven around for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, and this wireless charger has done a very good job of quickly charging up the phone without the phone or the charger getting hot. I also tested out the charger not only with my iPhone X, but with an iPhone 8 Plus, an iPhone XR, and the list of compatible phones goes on and on. So be sure to check out the link below to see if your phone is compatible. It more than likely is. So overall, I'm very happy with this wireless charger. The installation process in my BMW 3 Series here took me maybe half an hour to install. And as I briefly mentioned earlier, this wireless charger was designed for LCI BMW 3 Series and 4 Series, which appear to have a slightly different setup here for the cigarette lighter in this location and a storage tray up front. But that didn't stop me from installing it here on my 2012 pre-LCI 335. The modification is completely reversible. It was very easy to do. And I would 10 out of 10 recommend this product for all BMW owners. Also, Car Key Wireless is currently having a big sale on this three and four series wireless charger. It's usually $160, but they have it marked down incredibly low at $69.99 for early bird customers. So if you're interested in one of these kits, be sure to go buy one before their limited sale runs out. Also, I wanna make a quick giveaway announcement. I just dropped these sweet new limited edition JD Cars 4th of July edition t-shirts. As you can see, I had the JD Cars logo made up in a 4th of July American flag theme. It looks really sweet. I can't wait to be rocking this on the 4th. Also, these t-shirts are super soft. They're next level performance t-shirts shirts with the tearaway tag so they're super comfy super soft and they fit great we also just released a version of this shirt with the same american flag logo on the front except in the back it has a modded in america graphic on it pretty sweet definitely go check it out on the website so i'll be giving away these t-shirts in a size of your choice or you can opt for a 20 dollars jd car store gift card the choice is entirely up to you all you have to do is subscribe follow the jd cars instagram at jd.cars third leave a comment down below what you'll be doing to celebrate the fourth and if you win the contest, I'll be contacting you via Instagram direct messages. So be sure to be following the JD Cars Instagram at jd.cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like below. Subscribe for more BMW content. And I'll see you guys next time on JD Cars.